Hey there, welcome back to my mini series on linked lists. This video is part five of the series and we will be examining the linear search within the context of a linked list data structure. Let's begin with a brief review of the linear search and what it does. A linear search searches each item in some list sequentially. In arrays, this means that each element is examined one after the other, starting with the first element of the array. In the linked list, each node is examined one after the other, starting with the head node. This algorithm works equally well for ordered or unordered lists. Let's look at the algorithm. Beginning with the head node, we're going to examine each node one after the other. If a node is found indicating the desired value, we'll stop the algorithm and indicate that it's been found by returning found. If all nodes have been examined without finding the desired value, then we will indicate that by returning not found. We can determine this, or this will be indicated by the temporary pointer pointing to null. Let's examine the linear search algorithm in the abstract. Here we have a four node linked list. We'll assume the value we're searching for is X and X is in the last node of the list. To do this, we'll need to perform a traversal and to perform traversal, we'll need a temporary pointer. We'll call this temporary pointer cur. Cur will begin the traversal initialized to the head node. So long as cur is not null and the node pointed to by cur does not contain the value searched for, we will advance cur. So now cur not null, the node pointed to by cur does not contain x, advance cur. Again, cur is not null and the node pointed to does not contain x, so advance cur. Cur is not pointing to null, and now the node pointed to by cur contains x, so the algorithm terminates. And we indicate that we found what we're looking for by returning found. That's an example of us successfully locating a value that we're searching for, but what if we did not find what we were looking for? What would that look like? Well, in that case, the cur pointer would end up pointed to null. And if that's the case, then that means that we've examined each node in turn and we haven't terminated the algorithm as a result of us finding what we were searching for. Therefore, the value would not be found and therefore we should indicate that by returning not found. Okay, let's summarize. So the linear search algorithm when applied to linked lists will work for ordered or unordered lists. We're gonna use a temporary pointer cur for traversal. You can name it whatever you want, but in this case we call it cur. We examine each node in the list sequentially beginning with the head node. And the value is indicated as not being found as soon as the curve pointer contains null. Remember to always check your pointer for null before checking the node that the current pointer is pointing at. Okay, so that brings this video a close. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button, giving the video a thumbs up, really helps out. If you are one of my students, as usual, please feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.